I'm Jacob Lloyd and this is the Binary Button Echo project. The first part of the Binary Button Echo is the PCB. This PCB consists of one SN74HC595IC, one 16-pin IC socket, six ray angle mail headers, one 10 LED bar graph, and one 330 9-pin resistor network. This PCB is connected to one Arduino Uno Rev 3, which is connected to a laptop through a USB 2.0 cable. The other part of my binary button echo is my breadboard. My breadboard consists of eight momentary tactile buttons, which are connected to eight 1K ohm resistors. The first part of the code using the binary button echo is the initialization. Instead of initializing one individual button to one individual pin eight times over, this code decided to take a shortcut and initialize all pins using the binary button in one array. Each element is linked to one pin. After that, each, each um, part of the PCB, each right angle mail header in the PCB, is assigned to its own respective pins. Then the U and 8 T types num count and binary number are initialized to one. These will be used later for our loop. And the variable dur, which is short for duration, is initialized to 100 to represent 100 milliseconds. The second part of my code is the setup. Here I assign each of the pins to either output or input. All the pins relating to the PCB are assigned to output and the power pin is assigned to high so that energy goes to the PCB. All pins representing the uh, buttons are set to input because they will be taking input. This is done in a for loop. The final part of my code is the loop. In this loop, I use a for loop to calculate the binary value of the buttons being pressed. After this value is calculated using while statements and if statements, this value is then added to the variable result, which is of the type byte. This result is then used to, is then entered into the shift register, which then upload, uploads it to the LED bar graph, which displays the corresponding number of LEDs. So if the first button is being pressed, then the first LED will be on. If the first and third are being pressed, the first and third um, LEDs will be on on the bar graph. At the bottom of this, the result is set back to zero.